स्टार्ट करते हैं आज का लेक्चर है हमारा सोलर कलेक्टर्स के हवाले से और मैंने ये वेबसाइट पे अपलोड कर दिया है और वो ग्रुप में भी शेयर हो गया डब्ल्यू पावर जनरेशन डॉट एच यू ब्लॉग्स डॉट ओ आर जी उस पर शेयर भी हो गया है और वहाँ से डाउनलोड कर लेना और इसमें जो सोलर कलेक्टर्स के हवाले से जिस तरह आप बाहर देखेंगे अभी हम जाएँगे ये नीचे भी लगे हुए हैं एच का प्रोजेक्ट था यहाँ तो ये इन्होंने नीचे भी लगाए हुए और जो है वो छत पर भी लगे हुए हैं ऊपर आप नज़र आ रहे हैं तो लास्ट टाइम भी हमने एक ग्रुप के साथ देखे थे तो आज फिर देखेंगे तो इसमें फ्लैट प्लेट सोलर कलेक्टर हैं फिर वैक्यूटेड ट्यूब है सोलर कलेक्टर और फिर पैराबोलिक शेप है तो ये जो नीचे नज़र आ रहे हैं ये पैराबोलिक है और वो जो सामने कुछ जो है वो फ्लैट प्लेट है उसके बाद अवैक्यूटेड है तो इन्होंने लगाए ऐसे हैं कि पानी असल में हीट करना है ना आपने तो इधर इनका कोई नीचे सिस्टम लगा हुआ है तो इनसे पूछेंगे क्या है ये तो उसमें पानी अगर आपका प्री ही, हीट हो जिस तरह आप कुछ जगह पे स्टीम स्टीम ही बनानी है अगर आपने तो उसमें भी प्री हीटर यूज़ होते हैं ना तो वो मतलब शुरू में अगर पानी आपका बिल्कुल कोल्ड है उसको आप हीट अप कर लेते हैं तो वो आपका वो प्रोसेस में आप कर सकते हैं और इसी तरह घर के अंदर भी आप इसको हीट अप कर सकते हैं ठीक है इसमें इन्होंने यूज़ किया हुआ है वहाँ से हीटर प्री हीटर है यूज़ किया फ्लैट प्लेट कलेक्टर यूज़ किया हुआ है सोलर कलेक्टर ठीक है और उसके बाद जो है वो एक कलेक्टर से पानी का हीट अप हो गया दूसरे में आ रहा है सीरीज़ में लगाए हुए हैं ना फिर दूसरे से हीट अप तीसरा चौथा पांचवा और उसके बाद जो पानी आउटलेट पे आता है उसको वो गर्म जो है ना दोबारा जो वैक्यूटेड ट्यूब है जिनकी एफिशिएंसी ज़्यादा होती है फ्लैट से तो उसमें लगाते हैं तो उसमें से पानी होता है वो आउटपुट में जो आता है फिर वो मैक्सीम उसकी हीट होती है डिपेंडिंग ऑन के सोलर की एनर्जी क्या है और ये तो ये घर के अंदर भी बना सकते हैं एक दो एग्जाम्पल इधर हैं जो कि घर के अंदर हम पानी जो है छोटा सा एक सिस्टम जो है घर में पानी इतना सोलर होता है तो वो कर सकते हैं तो इसके साथ साथ घर में वैसे बाहर जिस तरह धूप होती है तो घर में ठंड होती है तो हीटर यूज़ करते हैं तो बिजली तो गैस बहुत बड़ी महंगी हो गई है ऐसी ना तो उसका भी कोई सिस्टम हो सके अगर पॉसिबल के भी वहाँ से हम वो बाहर धूप होती है और घर ठंड होती है अच्छा अब देखें फ्लैट प्लेट कलेक्टर्स के अंदर देखें तो इसमें एयर को या वाटर को आप यू कैन हीट अप वाटर आर एयर तो फ्लैट प्लेट कलेक्टर्स एंड हेयर दी सिंपल कंस्ट्रक्शन यू कैन सी हेयर व्हेन दी सोलर एनर्जी विल हिट दिस प्लेट एंड यू कैन सी दिस इज दिस इज ग्लास कवर व्हिच इज ट्रांसपेरेंट एंड द हीट विल एंटर हेयर एंड देयर इज अ वैक्यूम एंड देन देयर इज अ अब्जॉर्वर प्लेट व्हिच इज कलर्ड ब्लैक जस्ट टू ऑब्जॉर्व ऑल द हीट फ्रॉम द सोलर एंड देन विद दिस ऑब्जॉर्वर प्लेट the tubes hollow tubes uh, uh, through which the water will flow okay these hollow tubes uh, are just connected with the this black uh, colored absorber plate so when this uh, plate uh, absorb all the heat it will heat up and it will transfer that heat to the uh, tubes and the when water will flow through that tubes uh, water will will heat up okay so this is the actually process and in in tubes uh, the rest of the place you can see here this is the insulation so these tubes is just is this is the front view so if you will see uh, the side view of the tube you will see this like a heat exchanger we already mentioned in the uh, in the cooling process the part of the diesel generator which was the cooling cooling system so where the heat exchanger is uh, uh, something like that to th this is the actually these are the tubes connected each with each other and uh, uh, water will flow through this these tubes inside this uh, flat plate collector and uh, it will at the outlet of the water it will be uh, uh, the heated water or the warm water will be based on the uh, on the sunshine or you can the intensity of the light so you will get the uh, relevant temperature uh, of the water so in this way you can uh, heat up cold water so uh, the next one is uh, for example here you can see flat plate versus evacuated tube uh, collectors what's the difference you can see here that uh, uh, the flat plate has longer life and uh, its uh, uh, temperature is lower uh, uh, if you want to heat the water uh, below 90 degree 90 degree centigrade so you can use the flat plate above 90 or you can say uh, till 300 or 350 degree centigrade evacuated tubes can be used and also you can say here uh, the evacuator tube this is the modular in install you can see also the appearance of the mod, uh, of evacuator tube solar system is appearance is also good as compared to flat and also the efficiency is better uh, and uh, its construction is uh, so nice that uh, it uh, uh, absorb much heat as compared to the flat plates 
so uh, also in winter it's uh, it's the uh, performance is very good in winter especially as compared to flat blades uh, okay and then uh, there is uh, also uh, soda lime glass i will uh, discuss later also uh, borosilicate or uh, borosilicate or soda lime glass uh, because um, in in this evacuated tube uh, there is a inner side of the tube outer side between that two uh, uh, parts of the tubes there is a vacuum no air air out and no vac uh, this totally vacuum if any uh, oxygen particles or air particles will uh, trap there borosilicate or soda lime glass will be used just to uh, trap that uh, uh, that particles okay so this is the now the construction of the evacuated tube uh, <coughs> solar collectors here you can see <coughs> there is the outer uh, you can see this is the evacuated tube this is the evacuated tube and you can see it has the inner and outer piece inner and outer piece and you can say these are the fused together and the uh, distance uh, you can say the uh, uh, the space between uh, outer and inner uh, part of the tube is uh, evacuated, no air, okay? So this is the way and uh, here you can see again, this, this is the tube and uh, there is also, you can see here, there is a second part. This is the first part tube and there is, the, uh, uh, this tube is actually hollow inside and there is a rod inside, you can see this rod and this rod is actually uh, made of aluminium this is the aluminium assembly and you can say this will run through this tube so this is the for the entire uh, length of the tube you can see how much length of the tube and the same length of this uh, aluminium uh, made rod is is there this is the second part and in the end we will take question no problem and then you can see here uh, Uh, this again uh, the aluminium uh, you can see aluminium inner side and there is inside that aluminium assembly there is also as uh, this is called uh, uh, you can say the, this is actually uh, copper copper heat pipe this is copper heat pipe what's the function of this copper heat pipe uh, you can say here that uh, when the water will heat up because mercury uh, or alcohol you can say alcohol because alcohol boiling part is less as compared to other liquids so uh, as it will absorb the heat uh, alcohol will boil up and uh, evaporate evaporate when evaporation uh, will start this uh, <coughs> this uh, copper rod will absorb that heat also and uh, due to evaporation pr pressure it will go outside slide outside okay and uh, the this part part uh, you can see the uh, this is called this is called <coughs> the head of the uh, uh, of uh, copper you can see here it is inserted with this tank this tank you can see uh, everywhere there is a, a main tank where water will flow and this tank the name of this uh, tank you can say here uh, it is called um, uh, you can say here this tank the name of this tank is uh, um, Condenser bob. This is called the condenser bob. This is the condenser bob, and this copper, the head of this copper uh, rod, which it is inserted inside the that condenser bob, and the water flow through this condenser bob. Okay. So now what will happen when uh, heat uh, evacuated tube will absorb the heat? It will transfer that heat to the. Uh, uh, it will absorb. Is the kata lah? Hamza ka. Hamza ka kata lagao. Isko dur karo apne sirale. So, uh, when you will, uh, uh, sun sunlight will be absorbed by this, that uh, outer side of the uh, tube and you can see here uh, the uh, uh, two layers of the tubes, inside and outside. Outside will be cold, when you touch your hand, with your hands, outside will be very cold but inside will be 300 degrees centigrade, something like that, very heat up. So, you can see here uh, that heat will transfer to this aluminium uh, assembly and then to this uh, copper rod and when uh, it will transfer to here, uh, the alcohol. <coughs> liquid solution will vaporize and when uh, it will vaporize what will happen uh, it uh, with this pressure the copper rod will slide outside and when uh, slide outside you can see here this uh, head of the rod will be inserted to that uh, condenser bob and all the heat which uh, it already collected this uh, uh, copper uh, copper rod all the heats will be absorbed by the cold water which is already in the condenser bob okay so uh, then due to the gravity again this uh, this copper rod will go back to this and then again this process heat up uh, alcohol evaporates 
and uh, due to heat that copper are very hot this is very hot and then due to this pressure again uh, uh, it, uh, this condenser uh, this uh, uh, head of the copper rod will again be uh, inserted into the condenser valve all heat uh, absorbed by the water again due to gravity back back and forth back forth back forth this process will continue until uh, you will uh, your water will be heated so in this way you can see this is the condenser valve you can see we will see here also when we will physically visit <coughs> so this process will continue and here this you can see the other side of this uh, tube the end of the tube the uh, the first side was where the movement the copper rod is going outside inside but this the other side second side <coughs> here you can see uh, uh, borosilicate or lime soda this is uh, made of this and you can see here that uh, any oxygen because uh, the inside of the, uh, the inside uh, you can say the, uh, uh, the uh, area where outside and inside of the tube there is a uh, there is a layer of the uh, tube you can see the width of the tube or you can see the uh, that is vacuum uh, no air so you can see here that if any air will trap this uh, borosilicate or the lime soda will, ju will just absorb that uh, um, air particles or something like that so uh, it will uh, uh, save the tube from any uh, you can see air so in this way you can see uh, this is actually a simple assembly and here this is simple process again uh, you can see the sunlight uh, on the tube and then there is a uh, heat transfer through this uh, condenser bulb with this uh, copper rods and this process will continue so similarly the same process so shown here and uh, uh, similarly is okay so you can see uh, the collectors here are the collectors while pump uh, also we use pump you will see there there is a pump and also the pumps also installed uh, here but now stolen pumps are not there but uh, collectors there so uh, this uh, pump uh, will just uh, pump the water and also the pump had different wattage there is a setting of the, on the pump uh, 36 watt for example you can set uh, 40 watt 45 watt so when when for example the sun at this time the sun radiations are very cold you can say not hot not not very hot so we will uh, slow down the speed of the pump so that uh, the water we can we can get the hot water but if uh, very sunny day for example 20 22 22nd june of or any in may june july something like that so you can see here the very very hot water so you will uh, speed up the pump so that you can uh, you can get more water uh, he heated water you can see uh, so in this way you can and also there is a, mm, a tank you can uh, store that uh, 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 th that heat in in the tank and also because uh, for example in winter season winter season we don't have the uh, uh, for example much solar energy so at that time we use as a backup heater heater we use heater as a backup so normally heater uh, for example gas heater we use in uh, instant instant geyser you have installed maybe in your home or some homes uh, installed uh, uh, instant geysers so that instant geyser you can use uh, just when uh, solar is not available so in this way you can see where the same procedure is and also there is a <coughs> you can see there is a solar collector that is a flat plate or vacuated tube or parabolic shape the solar collectors and then there is a pump and also there is an expansion unit this is called the expansion unit you can see there there is a cylinder uh, cylinder type uh, uh, cylinder just like a gas cylinder you can see small gas cylinder this is actually the expansion type if much he water is heated and uh, there is no uh, point to expand so this is the expansion point and also uh, they told last time that uh, when there is a uh, much expansion it will you know sound like a uh, like alarm so it, it will also you can see this one and uh, here the same procedure uh, uh, the detail you can see the heat a uh, heat pipe condenser you can see that is the bob condenser the main tank and this is the copper rod this face of the copper rod that is called the heat pipe pipe condenser all the heat will be accumulated here so in this way and you can see here this is the black absorption inner layer and also double walled vacuum insulation tube double walled this is called the double walled inside of uh, uh, between these two walls there is a vacuum and also the centering tube stopper this is the tube stopper just uh, you can see here and also centering heat transfer fins this is the fins uh, fins that i told you that made of aluminium assembly like that so 
the same procedure here you can see uh, there is a um, alcohol and when vapor heat heated vapor rises to the top and then you can see this this uh, this uh, uh, face of the, or the head of the copper rod will be very heated you know heat and then this heat will be transferred to that uh, water like that so similarly the same procedure is shown here so this is done and uh, now uh, now for example we want to uh, install some uh, because you are uh, you are uh, we are uh, uh, the parents are investing money on us so why not to install some uh, system uh, at home okay okay so uh, uh, how you can uh, how how you, uh, we can install the solar system for example parabolic shape parabolic shape has much uh, 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 more efficiency as compared to evacuated tube so parabolic is the best and uh, you can say for example uh, uh, with the carpenter you can go there and there is a we need this wooden uh, um, plate for example so li like this shape uh, half circle you can say semi circle yes. semi circle like that here this one this one only this uh, you need and uh, the other side there is same same uh, semi circle okay so then uh, uh, you can uh, on that uh, between the uh, area of this uh, 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 two, two wooden uh, pieces you can uh, use uh, any any um, any file for example aluminium file that collects the solar energy I think so so you can use uh, uh, any sheet on this and uh, then uh, inside the inside of the uh, uh, area you can paste the aluminium file which will collect the uh, solar energy much and then uh, between that you can see between that you can install uh, you can install uh, Yes, uh, here you can, uh, it will be clear, for example here you can see this is the hemicircle, uh, uh, semicircle and the other side of the semicircle and between that you, there is a sheet and uh, um, between this we pasted the aluminium file so that the, all the energy can be collected at one point at the center and in the center you can see there is a copper rod, just copper rod and water will flow from uh, one side and when it will go outside and next side it will be heated like that so you can you can uh, you don't want to use uh, you cannot use a heat uh, uh, pump for example so so that it will be slow so that the outs, uh, outlet of the water you will get the hot water so like that so um, in this way you can we can solve for example here you can see there is a water storage any any water storage system you can install here and then uh, it is going to you can see it is it, was, it is connected to the uh, copper rod and the outside of the copper rod there is a tab uh, when you will open it because solar all solar is collected uh, here with this para parabolic shape all the energy is uh, concentrated in the center and uh, uh, this center uh, uh, a pipe, copper, uh, copper rod, a uh, copper pipe is uh, uh, passing through this center. So all the energy will be focused on this uh, copper rod. Uh, and the copper rod will be heated up, and, you, and water will flow. Uh, definitely, uh, it will heat up the water. So in this way, uh, on the roof or rooftop of our uh, homes, we can install this system, and uh, we can get this like that. And also, you can change this position. For example, solar is moving because this is the manual system and very low cost. Just um, otherwise, this uh, in uh, Amazon. Uh, yes, Amazon. Amazon. You can see maybe thousand uh, dollar. For example, vacuum tube. If you will purchase like that, so it will be very costly. So uh, man-made. Just uh, you can uh, made at uh, your home. So in this way, we can. Uh, and uh, uh, when the solar move like that, so you have to change the position so that all the energy all the solar radiations are concentrated on that this uh, copper rod okay so here you can see the temperature is uh, uh, from 20 or uh, 25 degree to 50 above so like that you can check the temperature and in this way we can uh, get the energy and also there is a second option how to uh, uh, this is also the how to locally uh, manufacture uh, locally uh, design the solar collector system so here there is a glow plug there is a glow plug this is the main part if you can find in the college road or something like that so if this glow, uh, glow, uh, glow plug is available made in japan so uh, any made in pakistan maybe 
So uh, glow plug is available is okay. So this is the mean. What's the function of this glow plug? When you will uh, apply, for example, when you will connect the, these two points, positive and negative of the DC battery to this glow plug, the uh, tip of this uh, glow plug will be very hot. And uh, definitely if you will pass the water through that uh, uh, hot, uh, hot tip, you can see, uh, so you can see uh, the water will be heat up. Like that, this is the glow plug, the, you will apply the DC here, so uh, this side will be very hot. So you can insert this in, into water, uh, you can say uh, water, water tank like that, made of, uh, for example, uh, 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 any material like that. So here you can see if you will apply the DC uh, power supply, uh, uh, battery is connected to this uh, glow plug, so it is very hot. So this is not the plug like a motorcycle. So this is the other glow plug, not spark plug, spark plug. So this glow plug, you can uh, take the water uh, storage tank here like that and uh, you can uh, insert the holes, for example here like that. You want to insert two plugs is okay, three, four, five, depending on the capacity of the solar modules. So uh, in, uh, 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 in this way, uh, you can see here that we have connected the battery. So no need of battery, you will just uh, purchase the solar module and the solar module, uh, for example, 500 watt, 630 watt available in the market. So it means uh, 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 one watt, for example, 40 uh, or 56 watt uh, rupees per watt. 56 rupees for what the best quality solar module we are talking about otherwise local is available also so uh, 56 watt if uh, this one just multiply 56 with the uh, for example 630 uh, 635 yes uh, 56 rupees per watt and 630 watt one solar module is available and six uh, 5000 280 yes so 35 kilowatt uh, no 35 uh, 35000 this is the uh, cost of this that one module and it will have a life of 25 years and it will be 25 years okay not 5 years 1 years okay so this is 35000 actual price of the actual 635 kilowatt uh, solar one solar module so you can purchase that one and uh, definitely uh, 635 so depending on the uh, how much uh, uh, watt wattage this uh, one uh, plug uh, glow plug is uh, taking so you can uh, insert as many glow plugs as possible uh, to heat up the water for example these two glow plugs maybe uh, you need one hour to wait to uh, heat up the water from 35 to 65 degree centigrade but if you will uh, increase the number of glow plugs definitely you will get the heated water uh, in, sh in a shorter span of time so like that here is the this is what is this just glow glow you can see glue and you can uh, mix that glue and just uh, uh, put on the uh, on the uh, glow glow plug and just uh, you can fix this with this uh, uh, water tank so it is no fix, no leakage of water, and then you can see here, it is no glowing inside the, uh, and there is a one solar module we have taken here on the rooftop, and you can connect this with this uh, glow plug, and then the water will be available, and this is the, uh, not the auto system, this is manual system at very uh, low cost, you can design in this way. So for example, before it is 10 degree, and after uh, uh, one hour, uh, it is 65 degree centigrade. So in this way, you can design locally any system. So here, okay, so uh, this is the end, but uh, let's have uh, some uh, discussion about, uh, for example, 20% of uh, our utility bill, uh, it, uh, it, you can see it is for heating domestic hot water. So for example, we want to wash the, mm, yes, and everything, washing and you know, uh, uh, so uh, domestic heating, 20% we use the water. For example, the second largest domestic energy use is to heat the water. So heating, cooling, for example, AC uh, we use, and then second one is the hot water. So uh, if we want to, for example, baths, showers, and laundry, and dishes, uh, so these are the, uh, uh, where we use the hot water. So uh, if, uh, if we, will, we want to save this energy, because we are using the heaters, or gas heaters, or for example, um, uh, 
uh, instant gas geysers are uh, for example electric heaters so definitely uh, the cost will be high so we can use the renewable energy solar energy to uh, heat up uh, this water for our uh, personal use so this is the solar thermal energy uh, system where we can use and uh, Definitely, for example, if uh, uh, if uh, you are using the electric heaters, so uh, it costs the energy monthly bill of, for example, uh, uh, ten times maybe ten times. It depends uh, the application. Ten times maybe the uh, electricity bill will be reduced. So you, know, you can uh, you can use the solar collectors and uh, the main components. One is the solar collector. You can see and uh, then there is a solar collector of any type then there is a pump station pump station and uh, and there is third one is this expansion tank and then there is a differential control also uh, available here if when uh, there is a heat for example we want to uh, generate a specific amount of heat so at that point when uh, you will get that heat the differential controller will uh, will uh, uh, turn on and it will stop that uh, system so this is also the uh, and there is a storage tank storage tank so these are the main five components and the fifth one is backup heater also used because when uh, solar is not available so backup heater that is used in just uh, with electricity or instant geyser for example with uh, gas so we can use so in this way similarly you can see here that uh, uh, the water uh, from solar tank from solar tank you can see the water inside and uh, when uh, uh, circulates you can see the it is uh, hot now so in this way the assembly uh, this is the rooftop for example solar module if you want to install uh, inside uh, uh, so you can uh, have this assembly like that in this way or outside uh, on the rooftop is also possible or it depends so yes this is uh, actually you can see is okay and then For example, swimming pool. For swimming pool, there is also some systems. Uh, already last time we were discussing, I think so, for, about swimming pools, solar system for swimming pools. Cleaning के लिए उसको. हाँ, cleaning के लिए. Solar cleaning के लिए भी solar system uh, use करते हैं. That is an other type, uh, solar system, solar modules, for example. But here you can see for to heat up the because uh, water pools, swimming pools. If uh, at at our homes swimming pools are available, are may be available in future, so <coughs> you can uh, uh, install the solar system, a solar collector system, so to heat up this uh, huge amount of uh, water uh, in the swimming pool. So this is also possible. So there is the assembly of this uh, system, and uh, the details we can uh, discuss later. But just see and different efficiencies and uh, sizing analysis, how much uh, energy. we can get so this is also available the third idea is for example here you can see the there is a uh, uh, you know ice snow snowfall and uh, here is a evacuated tube solar system is uh, installed here and uh, there are different sensors for example there is a storage tank tank uh, the sensor on the top in the um, uh, upper middle lower middle and bottom for example so temperature will be different so inside may be uh, less temperature and out, outside uh, inside hot water then outside may be temperature less when we are using the water like that so there are different sensors you can see here there is a uh, there is a, uh, uh, this uh, project can also be we can also design this project for example uh, we can use this solar collectors and <coughs> uh, we can get this data Uh, on the uh, on our mobile or something app we can we can collect that data we just um, use that solar uh, sensors this uh, this data we can collect on our laptop or something like that and also we can use our mobile uh, so uh, so that we can uh, internet of things like that iot sir uh, yeah, so this type of things we can use and uh, temperature we can also monitor that temperature and we definitely can control the uh, system uh, remotely control the system using iot's like that so this is you can see uh, this system you can you can uh, uh, one thing which i want to share here for example here you can see the temperature is the sensor one temperature is 80 80 fahrenheit uh, sensor 253 55 64 you you remember this one and you can see the the temperature is is low so uh, the pump speed is 50% for example and before because the temperature is very low 38 60 30 low the pump speed is zero 
like that so uh, pump is not uh, running because uh, already temperature is very low so temperature is um, risen to this like that 80 something like that so 50 percent speed is 50 percent we will see that the pump there also and then next uh, maybe for example this is the very cold to 28th december this time is 28th december so very cold weather for example in this cold weather we are just uh, 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 we are just uh, evaluating the efficiency or uh, measuring the efficiency of this uh, uh, evacuated tube solar collectors how much energy we can collect from this in the worst case scenario december 28 like that so here you can see after some time you can see we get the uh, sensor one temperature 138 54 57 and 70 now the pump speed is 100 percent so now we want to calculate this uh, what's the difference between these temperatures for example sensor one 165 before it was for example 78 so minus there is the difference similarly sensor two three four so this is the temperature difference we will calculate that temperature temperature difference here you can see the temperature difference at different times this is this is the readings at different times for example after one hour one hour like that during the whole day 28 December so here you can see the temperature sensor one uh, sensor uh, one for example sensor uh, sensor 2 you can see 53 to 91 degree centigrade so there is a 38.1 degree rise in temperature you will remember this 38 and then sensor 3 for example 55 to 92 degree it means 37.5 degree this is for the whole day for that day we are just evaluating that day and similarly sensor 4 64 to 93 degree 28.8 degree rise in temperature so similarly what what's the now we want to calculate the energy btu in btu uh, how much energy for that day we will get so now you can you can see here you can see here that 104.4 that is total for example uh, 38.1 38.1 plus 37.5 plus 28.8 these are the differences between two sensors uh, different sensors so all the uh, temperature rise the difference between the temperature total the sum of the total is 104.4 so 104.4 uh, 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 foreign temperature we get during this whole day in the end of the day so this is the total degree temperature multiplied by 20 gallons per sensor so per sensor this depends on the capacity of the tank so this is uh, for example 20 gallons per second uh, uh, and also we use for example instant geysers at our homes that is 8 uh, 8 uh, 8 kg uh, 8 kg uh, 8 liter sorry uh, 8 liter for example uh, instant geyser this is 8 liter it means that capacity is 8 liters so you can convert that 8 liter into gallons like that so this is 20 gallons for example that is the big one per sensor multiply by 8.34 BTUs for 1 degree rise per gallon this is the formula so 8.34 you will get 8.34 BTUs of energy if uh, per gallon per gallon if the temperature of that gallon is rises 1 degree so only change of difference uh, temperature is 1 degree in, in, in 1 gallon so you will get the energy 8.34 BTU so this is the formula 1 gallon because we have 20 gallons we multiplied with 20 and also not 1 uh, degree rise but it is 104.4 degree rise so we multiplied with 104.4 so the total answer is 17413 17413 so you can say uh, 17413 BTUs for that worst case scenario in the December 28th December uh, we get uh, we have uh, uh, got that energy at that day so it it means evacuated tube solar collectors are working well in during snowfall or like that uh, in those those areas for example Canada or something like uh, where much um, you can say snow falling or like that in Murray or something we we can use these solar collectors like that <coughs> so here now this is the installation so i will not go through uh, i will just uh, quickly go through this uh, slides because these slides are very long so it's also boring because this is just installation so installation uh, this is the first first step is important information uh, you need uh, important information for example safety how much gloves which uh, which safety equipment you need like that so this is the first step is important informations before installing you need so these are the tools and equipment what you need all the tools available and then th these are all the tools you can see here and here you can see we uh, use uh, uh, one dr drill machine that is just uh, you can see this this, this is called uh, uh, its name is uh, electric socket driver 
so you have to adjust the torque of this one if the torque is high so when you will it will you know the, the, that is called the galling galling mean uh, there is a um, uh, there is a bolt nut and bolt so there is a bolt huh? the bolt uh, the uh, face of the bolt you can see here that uh, this one galling mean uh, it will be free up you can see the, this is the hexagonal shape but these uh, edges will be as you can see uh, will uh, will become rounded so it will be free something like that so you have to adjust the torque of that machine so that uh, the torque will be a specific when it will uh, the uh, nut uh, uh, bolt is tight so uh, 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 that machine will not disturb the uh, system uh, it will not produce that galling like that so uh, similarly these are the equipment uh, the second step is unpacking and inspection so uh, these uh, solar tubes evacuated solar tubes you have to unpack and uh, these are the uh, tubes you, this is the safety and uh, unpacking and all the materials are mentioned here you can see and then there is a plumbing connection plumbing connection because you have to need water so plumbing connections how uh, uh, carefully you have to make that plumbing connection this is just uh, for industrial or for sophisticated system which uh, um, uh, uh, these evacuated solar uh, collectors very costly <coughs> and you have purchased from uh, maybe imported so you have to uh, handle it very carefully so in this way this is the plumbing system and uh, fourth one is manifold and standard frame assembly how to uh, assemble here uh, depending on the different locations uh, different structure of the rooftop and different uh, shapes of the rooftop you can install in different uh, ways so everything is possible just you have to inspect that uh, rooftop what what type of that and accordingly you have to adjust this one so these are uh, different shapes you can see here uh, yes in different shapes the frames are available the fifth step is collector mounting overview so how you uh, collectors the uh, uh, overview of the collector how you will raise and there are uh, different parts flush roof mounting for example angled frame roof mounting flat roof mounting east west roof mounting wall mounting and ground mounting these are different possible for example here is the ground mounting like that uh, parabolic shape that is the rooftop so in this way different flat roof flat that is flat roof mounting like that but there are different types so you can see flush roof mounting here you can see like that there is a angled frame roof mounting there is a you want to uh, shape uh, angle you need the angle even even the roof is like that but still you need some angle for example and you can install like that one and also for the wind for example if uh, there is a here no wind speed in u texla but if there is a very uh, wind speed so you have to uh, you can uh, increase the number of legs number of legs of the stands of the frame you can increase like that just to strengthen the base of the system so here you can see flat roof mounting like that you can see here the flat roof mounting different structures we can see and uh, then there is east west roof mounting there is a different you can see there is a uh, this shape and still we need a different uh, shape of the system so it is possible also wall mounting for example here you can see there is a wall mounting you can just uh, you can see on the wall you, there is no space covering no space no wastage of space in this way you can, we can also install uh, we can also install the solar system like that here possible and ground mounting definitely on the ground you can see here so and then this was the fifth, fifth step mounting and then sixth step is roof material mounting option for example the material of the roof is different so uh, also possibilities for example metal roof asphalt shingle roof or ceramic tiled roofs these th uh, th different roofs for example metallic roofs we can we have the option different options to mount this one and also uh, s5 for example this is the clamps just uh, this you can see like the rail uh, train uh, uh, you can say the train uh, track track train track so here like that train track and you can use uh, this s5 uh, yeah are these type of clamps you can use uh, uh, in that type and similarly this is asphalt shingle roof here this, this is the um, uh, roof is different so like that you can see here and then ceramic tile so we have the different shapes yeah, like that 
the uh, last uh, seventh step is installation for example et and hp for example evacuator tube and ht is the heat pump uh, installation so here you can see here vacuum tube the top plates you can see there is a heat transfer plate <coughs> yeah, this one is actually uh, on the head of the copper rod you see this this is the uh, we use heat transfer paste so this heat transfer paste will quickly uh, transfer this just paste is just absorb that uh, absorbed heat will quickly uh, transmit to the waterfall like that so uh, this uh, paste and then you can see it is these uh, copper rods the end of the copper rods and then you can see it is inserted it will be inserted inside that uh, uh, that uh, bob uh, condenser bob huh? yeah this is in the inserted in the condenser bob and it is inserted here and you can uh, spray on uh, uh, just for easy uh, installation and then in the end you can see and the last step is final installation step is just system operation and uh, now it's end so these are the different steps we can see here we used